All right, Workout Worthy, welcome to Amazing Abs. This is a quick, effective core workout that's gonna lengthen, strengthen, tone, and condition all of the muscles in your midsection. Make sure you subscribe to this channel, like this video, and come back. There are 31 five-minute Amazing Ab workouts that you can do anytime, anywhere. Now, today's class, we are doing one-minute intervals, and it's a Pilates-focused core workout. This is gonna challenge Anyone from beginner to advanced, trust me, you are going to love it. Now, let's start towards the back of our mat. Or if you don't have a mat, just make sure there's enough room in front of you. We are gonna do a inchworm. So starting, standing nice and tall, we're gonna reach towards the floor. Now, depending on your hamstring range of motion, you might need to bend your knees, which is more than fine. We are gonna walk out three presses to a plank, and then we're gonna walk three presses back to where we started. I like to alternate my lead arm just to make sure that I'm staying, staying symmetrical, but that's up to you. 60 seconds, here we go. Reaching to the floor, walking out to a plank, walking back to forward fold. Great job, let's do the other side. Walking out to plank, Walking back to our forward fold. Nice. Hinge. Long neutral spine. Belly button is sucking in towards our spine the entire time. Our arms are straight, but our elbows are soft. Keeping our shoulders low and relaxed throughout the entire movement. We only have 20 seconds left. You might do just a couple of these. You might do more, but remember, speed is not our goal. Isolating, strengthening, and toning our core is our main focus. Now the next exercise is gonna start in plank. So let's walk out into a plank. From plank, we are gonna reach to a downward facing dog and extend to plank. One minute, reach and reach. Pressing your heels to the floor, lifting your hips to the ceiling. When you come out to plank, it's very important not to let your hips sink. We don't wanna be arching our back or putting pressure on our vertebrae. Belly is still sucking in towards our spine. Halfway, shoulders low and relaxed. Second half, if you wanna add a change, you can reach your hand, opposite hand, to your opposite calf in this downward facing dog pose. Both are fantastic options, just depending on what you need, what you can do in good form. Got 10 seconds. Very nice, softening our knees. We're gonna come onto all fours for this next exercise. Reaching to a spinal balance and then contracting, pulling in. 30 seconds with your right arm and your left knee. Pulling in and then reaching away. We wanna feel that length like we're stretching to the wall in front of us, wall behind us. Without going past parallel, we do not wanna arch our back Belly is sucking in towards our spine. 30 seconds on each side. Shoulder is low and relaxed. That left arm is straight, but the elbow is soft. Let's switch. Opposite arm, opposite leg, spinal balance, then pull in, reach away. Pull in, reach away. Breathing through the spinal balance. Got 10 seconds. Hips are square, so we're not opening up to that back leg. Great job. Carefully coming on to our sit bones. We have two minutes left. Holding your hamstrings, lay back nice and slow. Reaching through the crown of your head, fingertips behind your ears. We're gonna bring our legs up. Shins are parallel to the floor. Contract, lifting up to a hover. 
and we're gonna do bicycles. 60 seconds, extending out, pulling back to center. These are controlled bicycles. Speed is not the goal, control is. Staying in good form, holding the hover, and then contracting your opposite shoulder towards your opposite knee. Leading with that shoulder, never pulling with your elbow. In fact, I like to keep my elbow so wide, if I look out of the corners of my eyes, I cannot see them. That way I know my core is working as hard as possible. Extending your leg towards the floor as low as you can go without touching, but also without arching. Rib cages pull down, exhale and inhale, exhale and inhale. Reach and reach, five seconds left. Pilates bicycles. Great job, last exercise. Legs extend straight, we're still gonna reach through the crown of our head, lift to that hover, and we're gonna do a version of a single leg stretch. So you lower one leg as you reach towards the opposite calf, back to the hover, lower, and lift. Exhale, and inhale, reach, and reach. We're hovering at the bottom, keeping that core engaged, keeping that length. It's our last exercise for this amazing ab workout. If you need a little less, your leg can go lower. You could also bend your knee if you need a shorter lever. 15 seconds left. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic job bending your knees. Extend your arms overhead, extend your legs out straight, reaching through your fingers, reaching through your toes. Couple nice deep breaths. Now bending your knees, hugging your knees into your chest, feeling that stretch down your hamstrings, around your back. Holding up nice and slow. Hands to your shins. We're gonna gently round and release. Gently round and release. Fantastic job, workout worthy. That was our five minute amazing ab workout for today. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, like this video and come back. Your workouts do not need to be extreme, but you do need to be consistent. So spend five minutes on your core every day with me.